everybody. Welcome back to Esoteric Atlanta. And I have with me my friend, Kristen Lee from oh. Arcana Tarot, who really needs no introduction. I know you guys all know who Kristen is, but in case you're just now discovering Kristen, I will, of course, be putting links to her channel down in the description box below, as well as a link to her PayPal in case you want to throw her a tip, buy her a coffee, oh. because, you know, you tarot card readers make it look so freaking easy. <laughs> but it's not no it's not it's it's it really drains you like wow i never knew until i started doing it full time i'm like whoa yeah <laughs> you're channeling because you're constantly channeling through source to tell <laughs> you yes. you know to be able to put the pictures together of what the story is 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 trying to say and i know i know mm -hmm. from my my amateur experience with the cards depending on what the quite you could have the same row of cards for two different questions. And depending on what the question is, it's going to be the interpretation of the story, isn't it? Yes. Oh my that, God. It's weird. But it's that takes your connection amazing. to source. Yeah. So if you guys want to buy our coffee, I'm going to put that down in the description oh, box below. It's not, it's not it's necessary, not but necessary. We're out, I always want to put that down because I know I appreciate you guys so much. All you guys who read, I, I know how hard this is, how, how you definitely have a gift for this. And so, um, I know, I know a lot of our subscribers appreciate it too, but we are going to have some fun today, guys, because Kristen, I don't know if you're aware of this, but somebody asked you and Jason again, a question regarding my re my oh, research. I know, I know. And we're like, wait a second. This is more of a Bryce thing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we let it be known that we're not trying to take away because that's your, your you're yeah. the researcher i the love person. it no i love it when people ask you guys that because somebody sent me and i put it on my twitter i put the picture they sent me of you guys with the question yeah. and that you had gotten like two aces somebody asked if the um the real isis spelling was e-s-e-e -E -E and the essenes connect and you got yes and yeah. and that's is it's just so nice to have i actually love it i love it when you guys ask Kristen and jason to uh check some of my research because i always want to hear what yeah. sierra has to say I, I was like i hope that i got that right but it was a yes so I'll yeah <laughs> no totally totally my friend sent it to me she's like i don't even know if they knew that was your research and i was like it doesn't matter because yeah. it's not it's it's for the world right it's for the world to find this information okay. and so i just love it i get so tickled so you guys if you want to ask oh, kristen right. and jason any questions regarding my research go right ahead because um, I love it. I love it so much. And it helps me as well. It helps me figure out whether I'm on the right track or not with my, oh, with my digging. So, that's so. The right track. Yeah. <laughs> you I, are the queen of pentacles, remember. <laughs> I watched that episode. I was like, I'll take her. She's a oh, boss. Yeah. I'll take her. Oh, definitely. It's a great one. A great one. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, I told you, Kristen, before we started filming, I have a specific topic that I, and I actually put on my notes for Kristen and Jason. Jason was supposed to join us today, but he had something come up. So next time we'll get the incredible duo together uh, for a show. And usually Stephanie's with us too, but she is not available today. So we just want to put that out there, guys. She'll be back next week, but she's not available today. That's why she's not here. She's not in an in area where she can film right now, but that's totally, totally, totally that's fine. Okay. okay. But I have all my notes just so Jason knows for Kristen and Jason. So <laughs> oh, <how cute. laughs> um, well, thank you for having me back again. This is so fun. It, it's a, it's so fun. I find this so fun. Spirit is fun. So so uh, before we get into the topic at hand, though, I'm going to ask you and I told you before we started filming, I was going to ask you this. So, Kristen. Yes. We are getting some crazy heat waves across the United States. Now, where both of us live, or for those who are not from the United States, we're on two separate ends of the country, but we're both in areas that are known to be very hot. However, the heat that we're experiencing is unprecedented. And it's for us here in Georgia, we even told not to go outside because it's so hot. And then my friend over in England is experiencing real a lot of heat for them too. Oh, really? Ooh. Yes. Isn't that wild? <laughs> That's weird. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah. Because well, they are not known for their never, heat. Yeah, they're colder and, and cloudy usually. Yeah. Yes. So can we ask Spirit, ask the cards, yes. what's going on with this heat? Is this just like a random weird summer we're having or is there something going on? It's Does going the earth on. have a fever? What's happening? <laughs> what is going on with the wacky weather? Come on. <laughs> wacky weather. Oh, yeah. Queen of Wands, Knight of Wands, Two of Wands. Look at all that fire. <laughs> definitely, 
Def look how warm that card is. It's just, it is. It's a big heat wave right now. And you're right, it is overseas. It's, it's pretty much everywhere. Ace of Pentacles. So it's actually doing a purpose. There's some, there is a reason behind it. Now I want to know, is it a dark reason or is it of the light? <laughs> That's what I was going to ask next. Is this nefarious? Hmm. So far, so good. But, you know, I, I like to keep going to see. Okay, there it is. There it is. It was looking positive. It's because it's livable, but we're yeah. all wondering what's going on. So it is upside down. It's, it's going to be like this for a while. And then look, you came into the spread, Queen of Pentacles, <laughs> King of Cups. So, and then this is not good. I got the manipulation. And then I've got the devil card. So it is the dark cult, I guess. The darkies are doing this. Not good. So it's dark versus light. So what's the purpose? Will the cards give us any, are they trying to like so. kill us? Like, what? well, we know they're trying to do that, but. Yeah, I think that they want people more inside for a reason. That's what I'm getting, to go inside, to go away. So it's part yeah. of a social distancing yes. tactic. Some reason, yeah, some reason they want us inside. Here's the world card and it's upside down. There's okay. something in place. I don't know, but there is, I mean, it's good versus evil here. There is a, a, a spiritual warfare here, but why do they want us inside? So is it because we're getting the new, is the new sun starting to come about? That's going to upgrade our Ooh. DNA. Oh, that's, wow. I don't know. That's just me stabbing at the dark. I have no idea. That could not be it at all. Yeah. But if they're trying to stop us from going outside, what is it outside that is beneficial to us beyond yeah. just the obvious? Yeah, let's see. It's spooky, very spooky. Two of Swords, Five of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Fear of the Unknown, Four of Swords, Ace of Wands. It is to manipulate. I do feel it's to manipulate the sun. And to put us keep us inside will bring on more depression and that feeling of, you know, because we feel down if we're not outside yeah. in the sun. So what would spirit's advice be to the people watching right now, especially when we're in really hot areas that we can't be out for that long? What would spirit want us to know? I feel spirit is just trying to, to tell us that everything is going to work out, but it looks like that there's, it's just because of the spiritual warfare. And I do think that they're trying to do something with the sun, trying to add something to it. Eight of Cups, Ten of Cups. So it's a good outcome with the Emperor and the Ten of Cups. It's a good outcome. But we just put inside. So it's just like a little blip in the war right now that we're in. Yeah, it's an added little thing that we have to go through. Yeah. So would it be advised for people to still go outside anyway, at least for 15 minutes or something, just to but get... Yeah. Yeah, I was just going to say, because the Hierophant and then the Sun card, it's telling me, Spirit tells me that it's still, it's safe. It's yeah. safe, you know? So just... Um, just don't overexert yourself, obviously, because it is, it's hotter than normal, <laughs> um, because we don't want anyone to get hurt. But it's totally safe. We need the sun to feel good. We need that vitamin D, so... And to upgrade us and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I would suggest like what they say you need like 15 minutes. So just sit outside for like 15 yeah. minutes, get that sun. And then you got to go back. Okay. That's very interesting. We're going to have to keep an eye on this guys. And for everybody watching right now, if you know something about this that I didn't ask, please leave comments down below because this, I thought it was just the Southeast, just being the Southeast. But then when I heard that our friend Catherine over in England was going through the same thing in England, wow. I was like, Oh, wow. This yeah. is not normal. It's so. not. I think they want people to become depressed and feel trapped. But don't don't let it get you down. No, that's what they try to do with the lockdowns too. And um, yeah, we made it through that, so we can make it make it through this too. So that's very interesting, Kristen. Extremely yeah. interesting. Trying so. to keep us locked up. I don't think so. No, no, because they know we're not gonna. If, if they tried to like do another 
you know, another 2020 on us. I don't think, especially Americans, no. I don't think we're going to even, we'd probably just like laugh at them and go back to work. Like not yeah. going to happen again. Uh-huh. Not going to happen again. Right. You know? No way. Oh, can I ask? I just got this. Yeah. Is there something, I have to be careful about how I say this guys. Is there something with them turning on the heat that's going to trigger this? Oh, I was thinking that. Um, let's see. Ask for those who've gotten this. Yeah, let's see. Because we are seeing, what is it? A sudden adult. The passing yeah. syndrome or whatever. I'm trying to be careful how I say that on YouTube. Yeah. Um, and so what I'll say is um, increased side effects. Definitely increased side effects. World card upside down. We got this in the original spread. So that's what it was trying to tell me. To manipulate. Yeah. So those of us who haven't gotten this, we're good at it. We can just go out. We're, we're okay. Yeah, we're, we're okay. okay. Which yeah. is for people watching right now. Yeah, it looks like the ones that have that special thing, um, their immune system is going to really try to fight really hard. And that could really overexert the body, I feel. Interesting. And then we have the five of cups, which is, that means loss. So, I mean, I would just take precautions. Don't be out there too long. I do feel it has something to do with that. Yeah, because they're trying. I mean, we know that they're trying to diminish the world's population anyway. And I have heard, can we verify this then before we get to Mm -hmm. our topic at at hand? This is what happens, guys, whenever we do do reads. One one question leads to the next. So I had heard that 72% of Americans have declined this. Right. Will the cards verify if that's true or not? Okay, let's but that's seventy-two percent of Americans. That what? majority of Americans have declined. Ah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Wow, Sun card upright, new deck. Yes, Ace of Wands, Knight of Cups. I like it. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So, so yes, they the controllers must be pretty pissed then. <laughs> since their their plan isn't working (laughs) and their newest little plan i won't say it (laughs) because but we all know the newest thing that's going on is not we all know we're not falling for it no it's it's so that makes that gives me and i don't i know i don't know about you Kristen, but living in a city i feel i before I, i heard that I felt like a minority because I'm in a liberal city. So it seemed like mm. I was one of few of people I know that haven't. But then when right. I saw that, I was like, you're like, Oh, wow, there's more. <laughs> there's more of us. <laughs> like we're in the majority. Yeah. So that's yeah. really, really cool. Yeah. Um, all right. So with that being said, guys, now we're going to uh, hop over to the topic that I was going to talk to Kristen about. And I have to be careful about the reason why this topic came around is because a few months back over on Aquarius Rising Africa, Shanti and Mornay asked me to do a deep dive into the catacombs that are under the unicorn country that starts with the U. Okay. You guys, we can't say the name of the country on YouTube. You know, you're over the mark when you all of a sudden can't start saying countries names on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the Black Sea is tie is connected to this particular country. And there's a lot and and this kind of led last time when we were a staff, we talked a lot about mermaids. Yeah. <laughs> and apparently there have been more mermaids seen in the Black Sea, but I'm going to go ahead and give you guys just some statistics about the Black Sea before we get into it. It's called the vortex of uncertainty. That's how crazy this sea wow. is. It's by scientists. It lies between Europe and Asia. It's bordered by Bulgaria, Georgia, Romania, Russia, Turkey, and U- unicorn country. Um, mm-hmm. Its length is, it, its max length is a, a, a 1,175 kilometers, 730 miles. Its ma- max depth is 2,212 miles and 7,000 m- meters and uh 7,257 feet. Sorry, Kristen and I are American, so we do feet and miles. So when I'm reading meters and, and, and <laughs> kilometers, I'm a little bit off there. Um, That's okay. <laughs> all right. So let me ask you something. So the, the scientists, let's first, let's just kind of talk about the origins of the Black Sea. So yeah. scientists don't know where this sea came from. So mm-hmm. can we ask, is the Black Sea natural? Was it or was it created by 
was it always there or was it dry land at some point? I guess Ooh. is what I'm, I need to ask. Great question. Yeah. I'm very curious. Let's see. Cause it's crazy when scientists are like, we have no idea. We don't yeah. know where mm -hmm. it came from. Well, I'm getting more so that it was dry land. But then there is a major shift here. Let's rephrase that one more time. Can I ask then if mm -hmm. was was this area flooded by the flooding of Atlantis? Ooh. Is that how the Black Sea came about? Was did it cover a part of Atlantis? Okay. And I'm glad you said, if you had said, no, it's always been there. I've been like, okay, now we have to move to a new topic because that's going to take all. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. I mean, the cards are, are, they're right with us. So yeah, that did happen. And there's a change here. Something majorly changed in the first spread. That's why I'm like, wait a second. <laughs> but yeah, that's what happened. Definitely the flood. The flood covered. Okay. So. Was this the same flood that's spoken about? And I'm going to say, I know this might make people upset, but Noah's flood, as well as the Epic of Gilgamesh, mm -hmm. speaks about a flood. Is this the same flood that, there, that, that drowned out Atlantis or that created the Black Sea? It's saying yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And the Six of Cups. Yep. All yeses right here. Awesome. Yeah. All right. So we did this. So can I verify then is the Noah's Ark story? Because I listened to a channeling once where Yahshua was being channeled. And this is what was said. And I want to verify with the cards. Is the Noah's Ark story about the flooding? Is that referring to the flooding of Atlantis, the original apocalypse? Let's see, the high priestess, one of my favorite cards. <laughs> That's your intuition. That's your psychic ability. That's what you're feeling. It's saying yes to Bryce. Seven of Swords, Knight of Swords, Seven of Cups. Wow. That temperance card. Okay. Judgment, oh. the sun. Wow. So you guys, yes. Yeah. So the apocalypse already happened and basically it was the flooding of Atlantis. So I'm going to ask this quickly because there's another question I want to get to. Is it true that the technology that they had before Noah's flood, before the flood of Atlanta was more, or Atlantis was more advanced than the technology we have today in 2022? Ace of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, Ten of Swords, the Ace of Swords. Another yes. Wow. So can the cards, I don't know if the cards can give us if we have to be more specific, but can the cards, mm. let's just at first ask, are they trying, are, are the controllers hiding something in the Black Sea? Is there something that they're actually now hiding in the Black Sea? Okay. Yes, they're hiding something. So let's see what are they hiding? Something very valuable, that's for sure. Okay. I just got the chill bumps when you... A little, Ooh, a little. Valuable to history is what's coming to me. Like, Nine of Cups, King of Pentacles. That's very... It's royal. So there's, there's a lot of hidden things under there that's very valuable to humanity. That's what I'm picking up. Yeah. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I'm wondering if it's like in a chest or something. I don't know. Now I'm thinking like a pirate. <laughs> well, okay. So this is going to lead us into more. So is there, a, let's try to figure out what's under there. Is there a town under this? Is there a whole city under the Black Sea? There's, it's definitely, it's definitely a city is what I'm picturing. An old city. And then this is very biblical, this card. So, I mean, it's, it's very, it's way back in the day. Does it have anything to do with the Garden of Eden? Which mm -hmm. I think the Garden of Eden is a kind of a metaphor, but it could have been a bigger location. Does it have something to do with the origins? Yeah, we got we to gotta see this. I want to change decks for this <laughs> question. Shit's <laughs> getting real. So cool. 
We're on to something here. Let's see. Wow. So, it actually looks like the Garden of Eden. <laughs> okay, so I feel like there might be, and, and I don't believe the Bible story completely. No. I think there's more to it. No, I was eating apple the other day, and I'm like, this is, this, come on now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. No, seriously. I think that, yes, the Garden of Eden is under there. I really do. Look at these cards. Plus the Ten of Cups. Plus the Temperance. When you, As soon as you said that, my download was just a yes, as if I already knew. Yeah, that's kind of, well, it kind of came to me. I wasn't, I wasn't even, before I talked to you, I wasn't even connecting the dots to the Garden of Eden. But I think there's definitely, and it just came to me as we were talking, I definitely think there's something about the Garden of Eden that they're not telling us. I don't think oh, yeah. the Adam and Eve story is really the story. I think there's something else about, okay, well, the cards give us any indication. What is Eden? What does Eden mean? Like, what is that? Yeah, what is that? Is what that is a technology that? they're hiding? Is it like the essence of more vitality? Like, what is Eden? I don't know if I'm right, but I mean, when I put this down, I thought of a portal. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's what I thought. And then the Knight of Wands, as soon as I put it down. And I mean, it looks it looks galactic and everything, but I don't know, a portal or as soon as I put it down. No, you hit on something. So um, apparently in the capital city of the unicorn country, that starts with a K, guys, we're coding for YouTube which is a connected to the Black Sea, there apparently is a portal there. And that's oh. why that unicorn country was so important. Gotcha. Okay. Well, let's mm -hmm. verify that. So apparently, what I understand is there was a portal in the unicorn country too. And that's where the Draco, the bad guys, brought a bunch of other galactic beings to Earth once their planet oh. was destroyed to De develop a bigger uh, slave planet, if you will. So can the cards give us any, can we now include the unicorn country into that and see if um, the cards can give us any wow. indication of whether that's why this area is so important to the controllers and why there's so much fighting over the, is it like a mega portal? And as I said before, portals are just doorways. They can be used for both the good and the bad. Exactly. Your, that Draco thing, definitely here. Definitely, it's it's definitely a portal, hands down. Seven of Cups, Two of Pentacles. And I do think that, um, I think it was used for good and bad because we have good and bad here. Mm -hmm. And that's the battle right now is over. From what I understand, the good guys are trying to close it off right now so the bad guys yeah. cannot so access can't it anymore. Come. Yeah, they can't um, come, they can't go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. and if they're here, keep them on the earth because then we can actually yeah. arrest, make arrests. Yeah. And get rid of them and try to destroy them <laughs> with the tower card. <laughs> yes. Is this a portal to Mars? Because I've, I heard from someone that there is possibly some court, some, ju some judgments going on on Mars right now. Ooh, that's a great question. So, if someone stumbles upon this video who's not awake yet, this is going to be the most bizarre. <laughs> These two are ridiculous. Who are they? Who are the Who are these girls? <laughs> I know. Okay. Just casually talking about portaling to Mars. <laughs> Mars. Mars is having stuff, a lot of stuff going on. A lot of stuff. And yeah. we can feel it. We can feel it. All right. Uh, and, and I know uh, energetically Mars is the planet of war, guys. Like Mr. T has a lot of Mars in his chart. But it does. in a good yeah. way, it, it, if you use it a good way, you get a Mr. T. If you use yeah. it a bad way, you don't get a Mr. Mr. No. If the energy is used properly. It's good. Yes. Yeah. There's some type of like ruling going on. It's almost like their own little trial, but it is, they've got, they've got some captured here. <laughs> the good. That's good. People. I know. And that's why the controllers are turning the heat up on earth. Cause they're petty. <laughs> they're mm -hmm. pissed because yeah, and it's like a quick, it's, I mean, this portal, because it's giving me that sense that it's super fast, like, insane. It's just, you're right there. You go through it, and you're right there. Are, are humans going to be able to access this these portals soon? I want to yeah. go to Mars. I <laughs> I wanna, we'll be the first in line. <laughs> I know, right? I, actually, I want to go to Venus. That's where I really want to go is Venus. Yeah, let's go there, too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
So I'm, I'm picking up from this here that they're trying, they're going to find a way that it could be accessed, but safely in their own way so that no one's like lo gets lost. <laughs> that would suck. That would actually <laughs> suck if you got stuck in between. I know. They have to come up with a way, a different way, I guess, because if you're not, you know, well, we, don't know how, we don't know how to get around under there. So they have to organize it. But I do see, I do see that we would be allowed to eventually. I guess it's kind of like when you go skydiving and you go tandem, like you have someone with, I wonder if we yeah. portal jump, you have to have someone with you that like knows what they're doing. Huh? Yeah, maybe, huh? You don't get stuck. <laughs> I don't know. All right. <laughs> well, so we know that there's something super potent guys about the black sea and the, the unicorn country. And the fact that they've got like a whole thing underneath the sea, that's that they're keeping secret. That's obviously again, very potent. Um, is this so the, the Black Sea is known to have like these pop up thunderstorms and like really bad weather? Is this having to do with what's being suppressed under the water? Or I don't know how to ask the cards for this. Or is this are these pop up thunderstorms being created by the controllers to keep people away from the sea? Yeah, yeah. Wow. The Hierophant, the Emperor, the King of Pentacles. So that that's like my alliance right there. Mm -hmm. I got a bad guy. Now I got the King of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles. So I think that this, the storms and all the upset weather is because they're trying to just capture them and not let them go through and go in and out. I didn't even think about that. This guy, he, you know how he looks like a thief on here. So he, go, he would take it and run. So I'm picturing them like trying to get out try or trying to come in so that it's just, I like, not even think about that, Kristen. So it's not just the bad guys using weather warfare. It's also the good guys too. Yeah. Like it, it upsets the sea or something. And then the weather goes haywire. Does this cause it? So if, if you are like a bad guy and you're like on a boat, like trying to find this portal and the storms kick up, does this cause like confusion as to where you are? In order to get would, to that particular place? I would think so. I would think so. I do have confusion here, too. And this guy, you know, he's just reflecting, doesn't really know where to go, what to do. And he's he worked so that. hard. He's already yeah. got seven pencils. He's already worked seven. Now he doesn't know what to do. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a shame, bad guys. Oh, no, yeah. poor guy. <laughs> poor guys. That's not <laughs> such a shame. No. <laughs> we have a fortune, ten of pentacles, though. I mean, what, what the good guys are doing is working, but it is, it's bringing some uh, havoc, I think. You know, we're wondering what, what is going on, you know? Yeah. But it's, it's, it's to keep them out and don't let, him, don't let the ones come back in. They're just trying to, I think, capture them, destroy them, whatever they got to do. Yeah. And y'all, I mean, this is, I mean, if you think about this, like, I know that we're all getting very impatient. We wish it would, just, everything would just come tumbling down right now. But I mean, think about that, what she just pulled on the cards, like they're having to deal with this. Like, this is crazy. If yeah. when the day comes, we need to like hug all the white hats because like they've literally been through yeah. hell and then try to ke keep us safe the whole time and slowly wake us up while doing it. That's amazing. Exactly. Yeah. That's amazing. So you know, what, you know what I picture, and this is this is wild. <laughs> you know the Little Mermaid with that scary Ursula lady, right? That's what I picture. It's like under there. It's all upsetting and crazy, and ooh. Well, spooky. I was okay. So let's add that. I was gonna move on to now some of the like crypto creatures that are seen in the Black mm -hmm. Sea. Okay. And I will put a link, guys, in the description box below because when I was researching this, I found a video of a TikToker. No, I don't have to. I don't know if you have TikTok, Kristen. I don't I, have TikTok. I never get on it. <laughs> I don't know how to use it. I feel like I'm, that's just too. I'm like too old for that now. But I. So I don't yeah. know if this is true or not. But it was a guy who literally was catching a mermaid on camera. Oh my in god. Black sea. Wow. And hearing it talk to him. So can we verify with the cards? Are there mermaids and mermen? In the Black Sea. Wow. And this has been a legend for a long time. Like fishermen, sailors, they all talk about seeing these mermaids. Wow. Yeah. Hands down. It's like a royal flush of the tarot here. Oh, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, for sure. So can we ask now with the mer people that are in the Black Sea, are they good? Are they bad? Are they both? Good, bad, or both? The sun, the ace of wands, 
Four of Wands, the Lover's card. Judgment card. So they don't mean any harm to anyone. They're just trying to live their little mermaid life. You know, <laughs> merman and mermaids. <laughs> Having their merbabies. Yeah, yeah, they're just yeah. trying to live. <laughs> so how did it get? Well, the cards let us know if, if that area was dry land and now it's the Black Sea and there's something hiding. Did they come through a portal or were the mer, mer people perhaps other species that got turned into mer people? Are we getting a little crazy here? Or is, I guess no. the truth is crazier than fiction, isn't it? That's okay. We need to, it's an investigation. Yeah. yeah. How did they get there? How did these mermaids get there if clearly, there are? Yeah, clearly. I mean, the cards are telling us that, yes, there are the mermaid yeah. mermaids. Like, they are down there. But, yeah, how did they get there? If, if that was dry, because that's what most people suspect, that there that there's like a city underneath the sea and that it wasn't always a sea. I feel like it's a beautiful city. Yeah. I really do. Like the structures like of her chair, you know, yeah. like it's just so like fancy. So it's definitely, that's, it's become their home for sure. And I do think that there's other portals. I think, and I might be crazy, probably the craziest one here. <laughs> girl no, girl no. A, you know like in traffic you know there's four ways i think it's a four-way portal uh portal i really do oh interesting the four of wands brought that to me i, I just looked down after i pulled other cards but the four of wands was like a four-way portal that's what my head told me like a four yeah we're okay interesting so the mermaids probably got there through a portal then and yeah, the storm is like in the middle of the, uh, or it's like a whirl in the middle, in the middle of the intersection. <laughs> I mean, listen, have you seen Atlanta well, traffic? Like, <laughs> I get it. <laughs> I feel like it, that's like in the center of the intersection is when they, they find, they try to capture the bad guys from going in and out. So are the mer, mer people assisting the White Hats in this? I believe so, but let's check our cards. I should give them a fair deck, a new deck. Let's see if they are, because they're good. So yeah. let's see. Yeah. But they could just be in my head. They're either like happily living their little mer lives in the Black Sea, just being all mer people and having mer families. I'm just trying to have a mer life. Yes. But the other side of it is that they are happy little mer people having a mer family, but they're also assisting the White Hats too. Yeah. Who's going to know the Black Sea better than them if that's where they live? Exactly. Yeah, let's see. Oh yeah, they're fighters. Those mer people, they're they're pretty cool. Don't piss off a mermaid. No, seriously. <laughs> and I got the Emperor and the Hierophant. New deck. New deck. Like they're definitely working with them, showing them the ins and outs. And I also think that the bad guys will try to look like a good guy, but they're not. They get caught. He, he gets caught. Oh, so they like try to shape shift a little. <gasps> yes, yes. Are mermaids able to shape shift? Good question. Is that part of their ability? Is that why they're able to stay incognito sometimes? Let's see. Because that's what, that's what the little mermaid, that's what Ariel does basically, right? Shape shifts. And, oh my gosh, the empress. And you know the empress, you know, she's the like the mama. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So I do think, I do think so. Cause that's a yes. Wow. Yeah. So this might be a crazy question. Are there human beings walking amongst the 99 population who have the ability to shape shift into mer people, but they don't know they have that ability. Uh, I think, and this might sound crazy, Kristen, but I think we all have the ability to shape shift. We just don't know it. Me too. Me too. I think werewolves are real. I think it's all real. Dreams. I have dreams. I'm a shape shifter. <laughs> <laughs> someone told me once i could shape shift and i was like well before i shape shift into another species i just want to make sure i can like make my legs a little longer and <laughs> exactly perk yeah. my boobs up a little bit can we shape shift that first <laughs> can i just make it all pretty and perfect <laughs> no seriously they can i think that they're walking among us and what better card to come through than the fool card you know, he's the start of the whole tarot deck. He, this is his journey. It's called the Fool's Journey. Right. Of the tarot deck. That's the first card. So I believe so. He's, sure. he's on, you know, wow. Can we just ask just if the cards, 
for everybody watching right now, you and me included, have there been times in our life we've walked past a mer person who's shifted into a human and we just had no idea? Is that how is that how normal this is? And we're just like, you know, I live in a city, so I see people talking to themselves all the time. I see people doing weird things, and I never give it a second thought. But what if they're literally shapeshifters who are a little confused because they're not used to being on land? Yes. Okay. Yeah. New deck. This is a good big question. So let's. You know, let's do this one, actually. This one, for sure. Let's see. King of Cups. And look at the seahorses on that chair. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So I have him, the King of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune, the Five of Pentacles. So yes. Yes. That's wild. A sun card. Maybe they need the sun. They need the sun for something. It just comes to me. Yeah, but like, it's crazy to think that some of us watching right now could probably shift into a mermaid and we just don't know. You might it. be a mermaid. Yeah. Like, we just don't know it. Because we know it's hot. Yeah. You're very drawn to it, though. Because, I mean, you started this uh, cool little thing, you know, with the mermaids. So I'm wondering. If, am I? Can I? Well, let's ask. Can I shift into a <laughs> Can I be a fish? Yeah, it's what you're attracted to, I feel like, is a part of you, you know? Let's see. Four of Wands, Two of Wands, the Ten of Cups, and the Temperance. I am not making it up. Yeah. That's why I like to show oh, my cards. I got chill bumps. I got chill bumps. Well, my family's on the coast, it. so. I suspect it. Because my beliefs are whatever you're drawn to as a There's child a and as an adult, like what you're really drawn to, and you are. You're you're drawn into the history and like all these things outside the box stuff. Yeah, I think it's very likely that you are. This looks like it too. All right, so th let's tie this into our last episode because I just had a flashback to our last episode. And guys, if you missed our last episode, I will put all the episodes I've done with Kristen up till now in the description box below in case there's something you missed. We, you, me, and Stephanie. Yeah, the cards told us that there was a correlation between the priestesshood of Isis and Osiris and mer people. And yeah. I know, well, let's just verify with your cards first. Okay. This is where was I in a past life and you too, Kristen, were we in the priestesshood of Isis in a past existence? Okay. Let's see. First spread I'm going to do for you. And then I'll see, we'll see how they go together. Yo, oh my gosh, I'm excited. Let's see. The Knight of Swords, the Four of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, that is so you. <laughs> Nine of Wands, <laughs> the Lover's Card, the Queen of Cups, the Six of Wands, the Ten of Wands. They're all yeses. The World, the Chariot, the High Priestess. Yeah. For you, yes. Now let's ask about Kristen. Let's see. That's, you that's so cool. And now I see you being very mermaid, too. I would love to be a mermaid. <laughs> well, you got the ocean behind you in that beautiful picture. Your hair is all flowing. Uh, I thank you. I'm sweaty, though. It's very hot outside. <laughs> same, girl, same. Listen, I was saying before we started filming, I've had to change my shirt three times because of boob sweat. So <laughs> I know it happens. It happens. It happens. It happens. Okay, happens I'm real dry land. I'm getting it, too. And we've got Mr. Teague that joined us, the emperor. We also have the strength card. Eight of Cups. It looks like I wander a bit more. <laughs> Two of Cups. Seven of Pentacles. I feel like we have this curiosity. We've always been, we explore. We're explorers of the water. Yeah. So is that where we're getting that connection? So we know, and we know there's so much about the priestess of Isis that we don't know because it's been lost. It's been quote unquote lost to history, which I think oh. they have all the information under the Vatican. Um, is that, so with it being, were the were the high the high members and the priest and priesthood of Isis and Osiris the men too, which I'm assuming Trump probably was a part of this, especially if the card came up. Were we able to shift to to, to fish back then? And is that? I know we talked about this last week, but that would explain why the Vatican wears the hats that look like the fish and the fish. They kind right. of Ooh, there's something to that. I have a question for that to follow up on that after we finish this question because something just hit me. Wheel of Fortune, Ten of Swords, Page of Swords, Five of Pentacles, the Sun card. So that's a yes, and it's including a fight, a war. Okay, that kind of led to my next question. So you guys know in the Bible it talks about how when Jesus was doing his his uh, 
his mountain preaching and he divided the fish and the bread for the people to eat. Yeah. The original story, according to the missing gospels was bread and grapes because right. the Essenes were vegetarians. They did not eat meat according to the. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. Right. They didn't eat meat. They didn't eat meat. Didn't eat meat. Yeah. So did the controllers change it to the fish story as kind of a dig and a stab yeah. at the priests and priests of ISIS? Yeah. Justice, the Three of Wands, the Ace of Wands, the Empress, and the Five of Cups. Which the Five of Cups tells me that they they took out that information and replaced it. Yeah. Yeah, the Empress too. Yeah, we're, we, no, the fish, you're not supposed to eat the fish. Don't eat the yeah. fish. <laughs> don't, yeah, I, I th actually think we're going to be coming into a time where we don't eat meat, period, because um, that's just my own belief system. But, um, all too. right. Let's go back now. Let's talk about the water in the Black Sea. Yeah. So apparently it's anoxic nature. So I'm not a scientist, guys. This is not my wheelhouse. But this is apparently, according to what I researched, um, this is one of the most intriguing facts about the Black sea, uh, sea is because there's a major absence of oxygen in the water. Oh. And scientists, and this, so this causes, so according to scientists, this causes things to decompose slowly in the Black Sea. So there's a lot of, that's why they say there's a lot of horror around because if a fish dies, it takes a long time to decompose. And people are seeing uh -huh. that. But let's ask the cards, why does the Black Sea not have a lot of oxygen in its water? What's up with that? And yeah. this is one of the biggest mysteries, according to scientists, is why there's not a lot of oxygen in this particular area. Wow. Hmm. Chariot, Seven of Cups. I don't know, but we did get the sun card upside down. So does that mean there's not enough sun for reflecting on the water? And then I have this too. The Hermit, and then, um, which is not, that's not really a positive card for this, you know? So yeah, I think it has to do with there's not enough sunlight. Something like that. And the temperature is off. And if the temperature yeah. is off, the oxygen is off. So are they trying? So does that mean I'm trying to think about if I were a bad guy, what would I do? Are they trying then by, by manipulating the components of the ocean? Are they trying, or the sea? Are they trying to almost like that hanged man position, like hold whatever's there there so it can't grow or come out or be released? Does that make sense? This, I just pulled one. This guy, this means like you're kind of waiting around, you're stagnant, stagnant. That's exactly kind of what you just said. Yeah. So it's all on hold to keep it that way. So nothing can flourish and grow. That's A wild. Devil, devil card. That is wild. Yeah. Okay. So can we ask to, so Istanbul is connected to the Black Sea. Istanbul was called Constantinople, who was named after Constantine, who was a terrorist, who butchered everything. What is the significant Constantine, if you guys remember, from what the history books tell us, now I'm not so sure the Roman Empire actually existed, but from what the history books tell us, Constantine moved the, the head of the Roman Empire from Rome to Constantinople, named it after himself. So obviously there's something very important about this. Does the importance of, now it's Istanbul, does the importance of this country have to do with the Black Sea? With, or whatever's under the Black Sea. Oh, it's a yes. It's a yes. And the sun returned to us. The chariot. We have the nine of cups. Six of swords. The world, again. The sun card. Like, they're all yeses. Six of pentacles. So there was something very sinister. Because I believe, guys, in my opinion, I don't know if i have any way to prove this that the whole constantine story happened a lot closer to our timeline and they're telling us mm -hmm. um at the fall of tartaria so yeah. so is there something they're harnessing out of istanbul then huh. now we call it istanbul it was constantinople then oh. are they harnessing it like something through the black sea up through we know it's going through the unicorn country but also up mm -hmm. through istanbul and that's why istanbul is so important Two of Wands, Judgment, Ten of Cups, Temperance. Yep, it goes through Istanbul. Yeah. Again, 
Yes. These sons of bitches, man. Imagine how beautiful our world would be if they weren't on our planet. Exactly. Yes. And it, the energy would be beautiful. Everyone would feel good and happy. And yeah. We would all be sharing this information. So let's ask the cards this then. In the, when the, when the, when the, the switch is flipped and we're into the new earth, or my friend Jamie calls it earth 2.0, um, will the black sea exist or will it just evaporate? Oh, to reveal what's underneath it. Two of swords, four of cups, the lovers in reverse, knight of cups. The high priestess is in reverse. I think, I think that it's probably going to dry up or get lower so that it could be revealed. Yeah. I don't think it'll it'll be a real quick evaporation because this is in reverse. Right. And then for, uh, yeah, some of the cards you're saying, it's not like it would be very slow. Like yeah. if it dried up too quickly, it would shock people too much. I think so. Yeah. yeah. And I and I believe that, guys. I think that I know we're all very, really, really frustrated on this side of things because we just want things to happen. We have to remember that our fellow humans who aren't super awake, this is going to be traumatic for them. I mean, they're still running around thinking that the beer bug is real. Right. And, and they're going to have to learn that like our earth is not a, that that's nothing compared to like the real what's laying underneath the surface, literally. Yeah, exactly. So if if the Black Sea slowly starts to leave, what's going to happen to the mer people then? I know I that's what I'm concerned about our mer people. <laughs> they just want to live little mer lives with their little mer families. And <laughs> they want the little mermaid babies and everything. Let's yes. See. <laughs> we want them to be happy. Maybe we can have just some clear water so we can see everything Aww. and let them live their exactly. lives. Yeah. And you know what? This is so, it's actually, it's really sweet. I think that they go to a different area. Uh, look, it's all happy. Judgment card. I think they're going somewhere where they want to be. Like they've been trying to get some, to this place for a long time. So yeah. were the mer people held there by the controllers for some reason then? I if they were being held there? That. I, I think that because, you know, the, this card here, five of pentacles, this means that you're being held back. Like that man's holding her back in it's her life. And yeah. Same thing. Five, and then the five of pentacles is a conflict. Like, because I feel like they're so conflicted under there, but they, they make it, they make the best of it. But I think that they truly want to be possibly where their home is, wherever their home is, you know? That's wild. So, so do the Mer people? Will the card? Did they come from a different planet, or are they? Because we know that humans, as humans, all come from different planets. Yeah. But now I'm thinking: Do the Mer people come from a different planet? Are they the actual original Earthlings? Let's see. Hmm. Now my time travel cards are coming through here. <laughs> So if this were, you know, one of our, your reading, let's say this is, I'd say you're a time traveler. So the mer people are time travelers. So. This but is I'm wild. Wondering. Yeah. So they need to get in through their other portal to their other safe waters. Is what I'm thinking. This is what. Can we ask, is Mr. T a shapeshifter, mermaid shapeshifter, merman shapeshifter? Ooh, merman. I could see him floating around as a merman. I, I bet his hair would be very wavy in the water. Probably would. Oh my gosh. He showed up. <laughs> <laughs> and then the Ace of Wands and the Justice. I think I think he used to. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe when he was younger. This but is crazy. Uh, like how Ace of Cup, Six of Swords. So it's a way of another way of traveling. Sure. We know he's a time traveler. We know he's yeah. able to like jump around. This yeah. is wild. So he's like, I mean, guys, we talk about like seeing off worlders and now we have freaking mermaids on our planet that we don't even I like do this stuff too. Yeah. Realize, realize yeah. that's right. Yeah. They're like walking among us too. This is so freaking wild. This is like, this is. Yeah. I, our earth is so freaking magical. The fact that this is actually even happening, like how magical of a place do we live? I know. In? And there is victory. So good for the Mer, the Mer families. There's victory. So the ones that are like trapped or, you know, don't they're stuck in that portal area because they're, they're helping the Alliance. They'll, they'll have a good outcome. 
They they just okay. have to help. I think they're there just to help right now. So for all the people that live in the Black Sea or work in the Black Sea that have had these experiences with mer people, when the mer people try to make contact with um, with humans, are they trying to warn the humans? Are they trying to befriend the humans? What 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 is why is that contact necessary? Oh. Yeah, they, I think that they're, because this is like when they're coming, someone's coming towards you. So I think that they want to approach us humans. Yeah. They want to be a part of our, oh my gosh, they want to be a part of our world. Like, I was about to say that same thought too, part of their world. Oh, they think we're cute. <laughs> no, no, for real. They do. That's so cute. They want a new beginning, maybe because they want, they, they just want the energies to be good before, you know, so they're going to still continue the mer life. And okay, so well, let's go ahead and make. Earth. I've heard that elephants think we're cute. Like elephants look at humans as if Aww, they're they're puppies. They <laughs> they're probably like, oh, how sweet this lady's petting me. So this mermaid, <laughs> think humans are cute. Now the songs of the mermaids. You know, they have. There's legends of mermaids singing songs out. People oh, yes. hear like this. Um, do, when the mermaid, well, the cards let us know. I'm sure they have their own little mer, mer language. But yeah. when mermaids speak to us, will we be able to understand them or it will just be like sounds as in kind of like how we see animals speaking like through barks and meows mm -hmm. will it be just that sound or will they be able sounds. to be like cohesive language? Yeah, let's see. Oh, the fool card. They had that before. So let's see. The Hierophant, Three of Pentacles, Ten of Swords in Reverse. Five of Wands in reverse. I think we will be able to understand them because there's no conflict. It's upside down. Six of Pentacles, they're pretty generous and nice and sweet. I think that they actually do talk too. I think they're pretty smart. They're like, yeah. they're, you know, highly intelligent. We did get the Hierophant too. And yeah. so they're highly uh, evolved <laughs> spiritual beings then. Yeah, I think so for sure. Hierophant, and we did get the Judgment card before. Of the seven of cups i feel like they're really they'll be really good at a lot of things so they're like multi-talented and they could probably cut clear up some confusion for us as well especially having to do with things under the ocean that we're, we don't understand exactly oh wow see i don't really ever look at the detail on the card <laughs> but if you guys look at the chair there's little mer babies on each point of the chair I've got my, or I'm going to have to pull that up because that's, I have my deck here too as well. That's, so the tarot. Yeah, this one, I'm not sure what this one was called, but that's pretty. Okay. They're so baby is, mermaids, if you guys, I wonder if they could see it, but this, this is, I will take a close up picture and put it on my Twitter from my deck, you guys, but okay. This is going to open up a few more questions. So the, the, the Disney, okay. If you guys have not seen their Disney episode, when her and Jason went to Disney world, I'm going to share that on my community tab. But let's, oh, let's talk yeah, about Disney. Let's talk about some Disney. Yeah, let's, let's we, get into that. we didn't even pull cards after we went there. So, yeah, let's do it now. For let's sure. ask about that little mermaid. We yeah. know they tell us things. Were they telling us about shape-shifting mermaids in a little mer world <laughs> by the little mermaid? Yeah, let's see. Wow. Yep. Ten of Cups. And then I also got the death card and then the um, reverse eight of wands. So the communication, they, they didn't want to just, they kind of did it in sneaky ways, but it is saying yes. I wonder sometimes if like they put this out to tell us the truth, but it also to kind of discredit us as well. So like mm -hmm. for people that have had experiences or think they've seen a mermaid, it can be discredited as, oh, you're crazy you know, or, or no, that's not true. You know, like they're, 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 they're working really hard to kind of discredit as well. It's like, it's like killing two birds with one stone almost. Exactly. You know? All these so. years. Yeah. Cause I mean, they, they trained us, you know, brainwashed us to believe if you believe in a fairy tale, you are crazy. <laughs> right. You know, but it's in reality, it was just manipulated and it's actually, there's truth to it. There's truth to you it. Know? It's kind of like, have you ever done any deep dives into the Grimm's brothers? No, there, we, no. Okay, we should do let us know in the description box below because yeah. i think that would be a super fun episode with you, cool. your brother and stephanie of the four of us like yeah the grimm's fairies uh, grimm's fairy tales 
um because they do a lot of shapes so guys let us know in the description box below if that's or in the comment section below if that's something you guys would like and if so which one of the grimm's fairy tales you want us to focus on because there's so many of them so i'm kind of thinking like the grimm's fairy tales that was kind of like disney before disney existed right with this mm -hmm. stuff so yeah. um and they were a little bit more i feel like i feel like disney even though there's some darkness in disney movies i feel like disney tried to like ho tone down the darkness a little bit that existed uh -huh. with the grimm's brothers just a little bit there is some darkness because you're right ursula was scary as shit oh. all right now we're, we're a little bit over an hour now and i know Kristen is oh, a wow. very busy lady these these episodes go by so 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 fast that's why the three hour things that usually happen. I know, right? And I don't, I know you've got, I, and I know guys, she's got to go channel and do all this stuff. So I'm going to ask her one more okay. question to okay. finish up this episode and we will be back again we'll very soon back. for another episode. Yeah, it's just too fun with you. It's too fun, isn't it? I love this. It's like, you're my little, it. you're my Nancy Drew. Like we're doing I this thing together. <laughs> and you're mine too, because you're the researcher. Because <laughs> I'm not the best researcher. I get bored. But I, oh, you're you know, an incredible I researcher. Are you kidding me? You can research I things. Love, I research the cards and I try to feel things. But yeah, reading. Yeah. I love to read, but I have to be like so drawn to it. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm the same way. There's certain stuff I can't research because I'm just like, this is too boring. But um, so <laughs> let me ask one. This, so this speaking of, of um, so I showed you, Kristen, when we first started, the first time we filmed, I showed you this old ancient pack of tarot cards that i got yeah. for my birthday back in february very expensive yeah. and they got so many details on them regarding like actually wow. like truths as to what's happening and they're a very old deck even in the newer decks that we have mm -hmm. they just said that mer babies were on that card mer babies i'll s i'm going to send you a, a screenshot of it but cool. yeah um, on each point of the chair Beautiful. I mean, so are they using things like tarot cards to tell us the truth without us actually realizing it? I think so. I do. I'm going to have to find out what this one was called and I'll put a, a link to it. Right, you know, oh my Perfect. God. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, I think they're even like, even looking at this, the basic Rider weight deck, if you guys look through the pictures, oh. like they're so, if you look at the details. True. There's a lot of clues, you know, and I don't always look at the minor details, but I mean, that one caught my eye, I guess, because it was supposed to at this time. Yes. Yes. Yeah. It's like spirit nudging you to look a little bit deeper. Exactly. Yeah. Woo! I love it. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, I'm going to put, again, all of Kristen's links down in the description box below. Her and her brother are like a dream team on YouTube, <laughs> the way that you guys. It's it's so funny. Like, when you know you guys are siblings, it, oh you view it a very different way because it's just so funny. I don't think my sister and I could do that together. <laughs> it, it's, it is really cool. Like, I don't know. We bounce off each other pretty good, you know? It's yes. fun. I, it's such a blast. But it's so fun with you, too. I feel like we're sisters, too. Absolutely. You know? I mean, absolutely. <laughs> I, I really do. I think I think that we've all done this before. I think we came mm -hmm. back to do this again. The only difference is we yeah. made the decision to go through the veil, the veil of amnesia before coming mm -hmm. here. And so now we're, we're starting to remember, though. And it's yeah. just so amazing. And we know, and I'm just going to put this out there again, guys. Okay. We know that these divination tools, these cards, all this stuff, all they are tools. It depends on the conduit yeah. using the tool as to what what the outcome is going to be. And so I think that we're all starting to learn like how close we are to spirit and how easy, exactly. e easily accessible spirit really is wow. for all of us. And just as Magdalene is guiding my research, I feel like spirit is guiding you as well. And together oh, yeah. we all have different pieces of the puzzle that we're coming together to try to walk each other home. And yeah. so that is such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thing. And so mm -hmm. I definitely let's plan an episode, Kristen, talk to Jason. Yeah. I'll talk to Stephanie. <laughs> Let's okay. plan a big Graham's Brothers episode. Yeah, I think oh they would be a blast. Oh my gosh, because those stories are so macabre, and I think that would just be yes. so fun. So I'm going to ask the audience again. Maybe we could do a multiple part series over the Graham's yes. Brothers. But yes. I want you guys to if if you I'm not sure they do want us to do this. But oh, write down cool. which episodes you want us to focus on to begin or which uh, stories you want us to focus on in the beginning. And I will do my research to get the original story that was how, how it was originally told. And then we can do a big mm -hmm. show. Maybe I can send my research over to Jason so he has it and you and Stephanie don't have it. So then we can just ask you guys cool. questions. Good idea. Yeah. 
Oh my that god, would be I'm so fun! I know that'd be so fun. Like I'm thinking Little Red Riding Hood. I'm thinking like all the shape yeah. shifting going on. Like it's so perfect. It's it's two hosts and two tarot readers. Like yes, it's double the re double of everything. And, and you guys, yeah. yeah. And if you haven't seen our past episodes, you and Stephanie always get the same thing. Yeah, yeah. No, she is good. She's phenomenal. Oh, uh, yeah, she is. But you are too. You both are. But they're in two different locations, guys. They're oh, not wow. two different locations. And they're yeah. both, you, they're getting the same things in the cards. So that is like double confirmation yeah. for um, from Spirit. And we know that they're both aligned with Source. And so super, super exciting. And so yeah. I know, Kristen, you probably have a very busy day ahead of you. But once again, guys, if you want to buy Kristen a coffee or something, her PayPal will be down in the description box below, as well as her channel. Thank you for doing oh, this, yeah. Kristen. Well, thank You're you for having me. I'll be here anytime. Of course, girl. Well, you have an open invitation anytime you want. And oh. I'll be in touch with you. And we'll figure out a time for the next show with Stephanie and Jason to do a big round table oh. on uh, Grimm's Brothers Fairy Tale. Oh, yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you guys. Well, we love you all very, very much. And we will please go check out Kristen's channel because y'all do lives a lot, right? Oh, yeah. We're going live on Sunday. So, and people, you can ask your questions to Kristen right there in the live and Jason will read them and uh, be patient with the comment section. I noticed that with him. It's hard when you guys it's, do live. It's, it's hard. Wild. Yeah, it's hard to do to host a live guys because the comment section goes so quickly. So uh, yeah. but if you want to get Kristen to read a question, you can always hop over on their their channel oh, and she does them all live. So so fun. Good it's, time. Time. Good it's a good time. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, we'll see you all soon. Have a wonderful weekend and we will talk to you all very, very soon. Bye guys. Bye. <laughs>